when I teach workshops, uh, a lot of times people are wondering how to, how to do a drop shadow, how do you like plan it out. So one way to think about it is just draw the whole image again in one color, just in one shade, right behind itself and offset slightly. So an example here is like we have the shape of the scissors here and then we have that same silhouette behind it just slid to the left and down a little bit. So that's kind of the idea behind a drop shadow. And if you look at a shadow in real life, that's really how it works. So if you look at this point right here, I moved it to the left and moved it down, and that's where it ends up for the shadow. So same with this curve. Got this curve here. For the shadow, I've dropped it down and to the left again. So when I do that on the same side, I'm gonna have to pay attention to this curve at the top. So you can see, that's kind of the approach. Now I went a little wider here than my shadow there, but not by too much. So I could probably just get away with it. We'll see when I fill it in.